Google has released the beta version of the next Android. We've got it installed here to show you what it's all about. I've just installed Android 12 beta on this Pixel 4a 5G through Google's official tools. Keep in mind as we do our walkthrough, this is a beta. Do not install this on your daily driver phone unless you're good with things being buggy or broken. The final version of Android 12 should arrive in the fall. So let's mess around with this to see what's new, what's different and how it feels. Okay, one of the biggest differences I've seen with Android 12 compared to Android 11 is the new notification tray. So I'm gonna pull that down and right away, everything is freaking huge. The quick settings on the top, instead of there being a lot of little icons, there's four gigantic rectangles. Now they're very big targets. If I wanna reach them with a the thumb, I can do that. So let's see what else is in there. Okay, so we've got, by default, looks to be two panes. Now I did install a screen recorder app because I needed to show you guys what I'm doing. So I believe that the screencast option there was not a default. Let's see, I'm gonna see what else you can add to this. So I'm gonna hit the edit button, which should be this pencil. Okay, so we got an extra dim option. We've got invert color, dark theme, an alarm. And there seems to be a division, this line here, right above the storage where, I don't know if it's supposed to be an indicator of anything. I'm not sure what that is actually. Looking around. All right, I'm gonna add in one more thing. Let's add in focus mode. Let's see if that goes. Drag here. Okay, I've added that, I think. Oh, you can see the bugginess right there. Let me fix that. All right, good. We've added that to our notification tray, so it should show up right there it is. Focus mode is set right there. Now, when Google is showing off Android 12, it said that the final version is going to have options for kill switches for your camera and mic. Let's take a look again to see if that was in the notification section, because I don't think I saw that. So I'm back in the notification tray. I'm in the quick settings. I'm hitting edit. Uh, let's take a look again. Location, invert colors, data saver, dark theme. I'm not seeing anything about a camera switch or a mic switch, but I'm gonna move this location thing over because I could really use that for later. Okay, good. So I'm not seeing those kill switches right now, so maybe it'll come in a different beta or it'll show up by the final version in the fall when Android 12 is finished. Now, one of the things that Google was touting about Android 12 was this Material U, the way to customize Android 12 based on your own color palette or even using the wallpaper. Right now, I've got this rock formation. Let's take a look at the accent color. It's a blue. Okay, that's very nice. Let me change up the wallpaper to see if it'll change the accent color in Android 12 beta. So I'm clicking, I'm gonna hit styles and wallpaper. I'm gonna try to find something that's a different color scheme than this orangey, blue, yellowy thing. Let's go with the Mandalorian. Look at that, it's kind of got this yellowish tinge, but this one in the middle, this is all in black and white. So that's decidedly different. So I'm gonna hit okay with this little check mark. I'm gonna set both the home screen and lock screen. And let's see if it, wallpaper has been set successfully. Let's see if anything else changed. All right, so the accent colors are still blue. It didn't switch to like a black and white or silver kind of look. So maybe this feature is coming later in a different beta. I don't know if that's something super important to you right now, but that's not something you can get right now. Let's mess around with the widgets right now. So I'm gonna hold down and then hit widgets. And you can see here in Android 12, it's a totally different experience than Android 11. You have this nice list of apps and you can see if you have widgets or shortcuts, like in Drive, you've got one widget and two shortcuts. There's a slight difference between a widget and a shortcut. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. System UI, now this one, is the conversation widget. This was something that was leaked before and is around now. Let's try the conversation widget on my desktop. It's not a desktop, is it? Is there a homepage? I don't know. So I'm gonna add in a conversation. So I've installed Facebook Messenger and Slack so I could have some notifications to mess with. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's add in Brian. And let's see what happens. There's Brian, that's great. So if I wanna, what else can this thing do? Can I resize it? Okay. Okay, tells me that we had a conversation 10 minutes ago. Okay, what if I make this bigger? Does it give me the actual content? Okay, it's just getting bigger. And it's just a nice giant picture of Brian or a tiny picture of Brian in this giant widget. That's great, so let's close that off a little bit. Let's see if it's different for Slack. Widgets, 
System UI. Grab this. Snazzy. Now we're gonna go with Slack. I'm gonna go to Marta. She's awesome. Okay, same kind of setup. Let's resize this. Okay, same thing, 54 minutes ago, making it large. You don't see everything about the conversation. All right, that's not too bad. Let's see, any any actions if I tap them? Oh, it actually does take me to the actual conversations. What did he put up? I don't know what is in the graphic. There it is, we're famous now. Thank you, Brian, for being a part of this silly, silly test. Now, one of the privacy features of Android 12 is supposed to be this green dot that will appear if your camera or mic is on. Now, right now I'm using the screen recorder and I don't see it on the top right. So maybe that screen recorder app doesn't have that running. So I'm gonna use the camera app because that's Google's app. So maybe it's talking to itself. So it'll show that notification that, hey, your camera's on. Get in the camera. Now I'm not seeing anything on the top there. I'm not seeing any like green dots. I'm just seeing the battery indicator. Uh, let's see if I turn this camera around, we can see me. Great, fantastic. But I'm not seeing that indicator up there yet. So maybe that's coming in a later version of Android. So one of the things I've noticed by Android 12 in general is the stretchiness about it. So I'm gonna go through my photo reel here. And as I get towards the end, you can see if I just kind of drag, it's stretching out the image, letting you know, hey, that's the end of the roll. Instead of that rubber band or this weird like graphical interface to tell you, hey, you've reached the end, it does a stretch. And you'll notice that a lot in Android 12. So if I go into the settings, you can see this again. So take a look, here's this list. It's really nice and clean for your settings. Everything's got some really large targets, lots of color. But as I scroll, when I get closer to the bottom, you see how everything is just getting a little stretchy. Just stretchy. Just kind of like, you've reached the end of this. Stop pulling on this. There's nothing else there. It's a nice new way to show the user, hey, stop here, there's nowhere to go. I believe in Android 11, you had this kind of little gray tone that showed up saying, this is the end. It's a little nicer, a little bit more slick. All right, let's try out the app switcher. All right, so we've got our apps in a row. That's very nice, fantastic. What about the select button? What does this do? It looks like the select button is selecting the text that's visible in the app, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you're doing a search for something. I'm gonna hit X out of that. Can it read all kinds of text? Let's try this one. Yeah, look at that. So let's let's try this. I can copy this right from this feature. It's a, it's a really interesting way to do it. I haven't seen this on previous versions of Android either. I guess I can copy this image too, or I can do a Google Lens search right from here. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try to see what this screenshot button does. Okay, so this is pretty cool. When you take a screenshot, it takes a screenshot of the app that's front and center. It's not taking a full screenshot, so you're not getting the clock, you're not getting the actual screenshot button in there, you're getting a screenshot of the app. That's pretty neat. I'm not sure how often you would need that. Why would you need that uh, when you can just take a screenshot by hitting the power button and the lower the volume button? Oh, you know what? It's probably because it's easier. It's much simpler to find this when you're going, okay, how do I find how to take a screenshot of this? I'm just gonna hit screenshot there, and there it is. That's pretty easy. It's a more intuitive way to find something, although the, the screenshot shortcut still works. So we've noticed that things are a lot more rounded. Things are a little bit different in looks, and I will say, take a look at the volume controller. This is a massive, chonky looking thing. You've got your notifications broken out. Instead of in a squarish way, you've got these pill shapes. You got your slider here, but underneath the slider, you do have these three dots and you have finer controls. That's great. That is also true in Android 11. It's just got a different look to it. And this is the live captions button. So when it hears me talking or hears other stuff, captions will appear. That was a very brief look at Android 12 beta. I'm gonna keep digging around. If you guys find anything cool in the beta, let me know in the comments. Again, do not put a beta on your main machine because things might not work great. So just wait if you can. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.